Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server inventory or bucket spigot plugin store. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to have subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment in the end below. I'll give you a shout out when you get around to it. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like because that helps me out for helping you guys out. This is multi-world money. This actually wasn't requested by anybody, but well, it was a question I get asked a lot about how do you split off money so i got two methods of doing that we're gonna go for one this week and another next week because next week's gonna be an updated tutorial but this is made by tasty bento and it's called motley world money the benefit of this is it does restrict players to the certain world so they can't pay across worlds the caveat and drawback of this is it doesn't restrict any third-party plugins so if you have a chess shop and a player buys an item from that player's shop and they're in another world, it will actually pay them whatever world they're in. But it does require a vault and an economy plugin, or it is not an economy in itself. I do recommend that you disable any kind of pay, money, balance, all that stuff in your existing economy so that they're forced to use this economy so they can't circumvent anything. Um, and then let's get into the, the commands. So if you just do balance, that's going to show you the money that you have across all the worlds that you have. Now, it's only going to show you the primary of that group or the last one that you were in. So World Nether is actually in a group with World and then World the End. But World Nether was the last world I was in. So it shows that amount in there. And then you could do Pay and then player, and then the amount. Like I said, you have to be in the same world. I'm not sure if you need to be in the same group, but at least the same world to pay each other. You can also do balance and then player if you have the permissions to check another player's uh, amount. And then you can do MWM, this is for the admins. Give Cause for Christ 10 bucks in world. So that's gonna actually put it in the world nether because, well, in the world i think that'll sync it all up here in a moment once i do go to that world but you can also instead of give you can do take so you can take 10 bucks so take and then um balance and then you can do uh set so it's going to set it to that so set 10 world and now let's see how this goes so if we do money which is the built-in essentials economy you can see how much money that we have in that world balances shows you the balances across all your worlds if we do mvtp world so then if we do balance you can see that it actually uh reconciled that balance between world and world nether because they do share they're in the same group so pretty slick and then if we do mvtp world nether you'll be able to see the same thing, uh, money. And you can see that we have that same amount in there, which is very different from the hub world, which is in a different world of itself. Before we go and jump over and set up the groups, let's talk about permissions. Everything's pretty much set up by default, so you don't really need to tinker with it, but mwm.balance, mwm.pay, mwm.playerbalance in order to check another player's balance, and you get mwm.admin, and that's about it. So let's jump over, check out the config file on how to set up these groups. Okay, so here we are in our server. We are running 1.10.2 two now this the author only shows it all the way up to 1.9 but it does seem to be working just fine in this so we're going to go into plugins we have our essentials which is our economy in there and we are running vault as you can see so let's jump into multi-world money and this is pretty much it config is basic and then groups and then names and you're not really going to modify any names you can go in here and then modify players balances in the config file i'm not sure exactly why you'd want to do that you could do everything in game which is really slick so let's jump into the config file first one is a config you can actually modify the verbiage it uses for when it shows the balance when people check their balance and then you can actually have it where it won't or will not show the balance when they go to a new world which is pretty cool and you can put the color codes in here so let's jump over to the groups now this is where you can create or modify the existing group so we want to do a tutorial group and then we're going to add hub and then we're going to add a sky block a sky block world in there we're going to save it and now now those two worlds are going to share their economy and we can jump back in and take a look and that's 
all. That's it, guys. Let's jump back and I'll show you guys how that worked. Okay, so now we're back. We actually need to reload the plugin since we didn't actually restart the server, but MWM reload. Now we can see that uh, nothing's really changed on this. Now if we do MVTPA skyblock, MV confirm. And we're in creative. Now you can see that it shows that balance that as soon as we join that world and you can see that that is the same as the hub. So if we do balance, it only shows one world from each group and usually it's the last world that you were in. It's pretty basic, like I said. Well, hopefully you guys found this video helpful and it gets you up and running with running multiple, multiple economies. I'll have another method next week that uses uh, multiverse inventories, which is pretty slick. I like this one a lot because it restricts paying across worlds. So this is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. <laughs>